Today we're going to be doing a great apple dessert with mixed nuts, baked in phyllo dough, maple syrup, fantastic ingredients, easy to make. Let's get started. We're now prepping the baked apple pastry. I'm beginning by peeling the apples. They've already been raised. The reason why I'm putting them in water is, is to prevent them from turning brown. The brown color that you get when you don't put them in water is the vitamin C that has been destroyed by oxygen. Vitamin C is the most delicate vitamin and so it's easily destroyed by heat and air. I'm cutting around the core in this next phase of the work. You could use a cora as well, but I have noticed that they, uh, the cora makes the apples turn brown, once again damaging uh, the vitamin C through the metal. I'm going to cut these to all the same size so they cook evenly. And as I said in the intro, I'm going to combine this with maple syrup, quinoa flour, cashews, pumpkin seeds, and walnuts which I'll toast first. I uh, will we'll be baking the apples first and then later uh, putting that in a phyllo dough uh, shell. So my apples have been drained. I got four ounces of mixed nuts, three ounces of maple syrup, and one ounce of sunflower oil. I've ground my nuts, I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of quinoa flour, greasing my pan, adding the mix, mixing in the maple syrup and oil, stirring it nicely, adding in the quinoa roast nut mixture. The nuts are roasted till about a golden brown. Pumpkin seeds, cashews, and walnuts. Mixing it nicely. I will be adding in the raisins and a little bit of extra maple syrup. I'll be baking that for about 375, on 375, for about 30 minutes. I'm adding in some cinnamon here. the extra maple syrup. Now I have my filo dough sheets laid out. I'm going to be doing about three for each roll. I'll be doing about three rolls and dividing uh, the mixture that has now been baked into three portions. I've got a couple tablespoons of maple syrup and oil that I'm going to be coating the phyllo dough with on the inside as I roll it. Use a great oil, sunflower, and spectrum organic, which will be, uh, I'll be coating the outside of the rolls once they are on the oiled bake sheet. Once again, they don't take that long to cook either. At another 20 minutes until they're golden brown at about 375, good to keep an eye on them. I'm adding the maple syrup and oil mixture evenly around. And you could vary this by adding different nuts, no nuts at all, different fruit. You could do more phyllo, less filling. It's up to you. There are no rules, but experience is fun. And experimenting is fun. So I'll be tucking in the sides as I roll.
I did have a little oil in the bottom of the bake sheet and now I'm adding some oil on top so it browns nicely. They'll be in the oven for about 20 minutes at 375. Uh, but check, check it, don't go too far from your oven and you'll have a great product when they come out. Look at those. You could eat these with some vegan ice cream or something like that or just have them the way they are and uh, know that you could stuff them with any combination you like, any kind of fruit, nuts, no nuts. You can do more phyllo or less, it's up to you.